Hey, hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, then you're probably doing a bit of research on this particular company called Traffic Authority, okay? So over the next few minutes, I'm going to give you some information on what Traffic Authority actually is. Uh, what the tra uh, traffic packages are like, you know, should you be investing in this kind of program, in this kind of traffic, uh, and then you can use this information to do whatever you want with it, okay? So Traffic Authority is basically a traffic provider, okay? Um, a lot of their traffic probably comes from solo advertising. So, you know, they say that it's 100% USA and Canadian, um, and they can basically deliver clicks to you, and usually their clicks are quite a lot. You can get, you know, 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 clicks if you wanted to, uh, and they deliver it within uh, one to two weeks, okay? That's kind of how it works. The, the weird thing about it, though, is that the only way that you can actually buy traffic from them is if you join their business, okay? And the way that it works is you have to buy, you have to buy into the program, all right? Uh, become an affiliate, pay for it, and then buy one of their traffic packages, all right? Which in itself is a bit strange because, you know, generally speaking, if you come to a lot of these, uh, these are basically traffic brokers, okay? So a traffic broker is somebody that is online, um, they work with a lot of different list providers, what's called list providers, okay? Um, and then they will, you know, may maybe this person has a list of, uh, you know, 100,000 people, this person has a list of 10,000 people, this person has a list of a million people, and then, you know, when people come in, they will basically match these two people and they will broker the traffic in the middle, okay? And they'll take a cut off the top and they'll send the, the clicks to you when you buy them. That's how it works, okay? But these guys, uh, which is very interesting, you have to buy into their program before you can actually buy traffic from them, which is a little bit strange in, in my opinion, okay? Now, all fine and good, let's just say you, you do do that, okay? The, the thing with, with a lot of these traffic providers is you don't really know how good their traffic is, okay? Because the way it works is they will get a lot of different lists, all right? And they will basically send it to you and basically a lot of them are, you know, business opportunity, make money online seekers, right? Now, you don't know the quality of the lists that they're providing, okay? So let's just say you, you invest in a thousand clicks, okay? And the a thousand clicks might cost you, <clears throat> you know, I, I don't know how much they charge, but um, it's probably about 60 cents, 70 cents per click. So if you wanted a thousand clicks, that's just clicks, that's not leads, okay? A thousand clicks times 70 cents, that would that might cost you like $700, okay? Now you get all of those a thousand clicks delivered within a week or two weeks. But the clicks that are delivered to you, a lot of the time, you don't know, all right, whether those clicks were good or not. You don't know the quality of the lists. You don't know if they were incentivized. You don't know if they're telling their list, hey, you know, click here to get $100, and then when they see your link, they opt in, but they're not really looking for, you know, a way to, to change their life or whatever it is, okay? So there's a lot of uncertainty when you buy traffic from third-party brokers, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, right? Some brokers out there are really, really good, and so it's your responsibility to go out and test, okay? Um, so again, you, you could test out traffic authorities, traffic to see if it's good or not. Um, I tend to stay away from people like this, okay? Because my, the first eight years that I was generating, uh, building my business online, I was buying a lot of traffic from third-party brokers like this, um, and I never made that much money. I made a little bit of money. You can probably generate a little bit of sales, but to get into profit is extremely difficult because you have no control of the entire process, okay? Now, when it comes to traffic generation, you have to understand that you need to, to, to control the process from start to finish, right? With a traffic broker, you don't know what message the traffic broker is telling these lists, okay? In fact, a lot of the time, these traffic brokers don't have control of those lists because they're getting, li they're getting these lists from other marketers, right? So those marketers are talking to their lists. You don't know what they're saying to them. You don't know whether they're advertising five times a day, 10 times a day to that list. You don't know if it's been smashed to bits. And by the time they see your opportunity, they don't even care because you know, they, they've been, you know, they get 20 messages every single day about making money online, right? So again, quality tends to be very, very low, okay? You might get a lot of clicks, but whether you get, you know, conversions and sales, that's a different question. The other thing about Traffic Authority that's interesting is you can become, um, <clears throat> you can become an affiliate and resell their traffic packages, okay? But first of all, to get in, you gotta pay money, all right? You have to invest to become an affiliate. Um, and then when you sell a traffic package, you can potentially make quite a lot. Their commissions are like 50%. So if you sell a traffic package of, say, for example, a thousand clicks and it costed $700 in this example, right? You will make, you will make 300 and, 
you'll make 350 bucks from that okay uh, which is which is pretty which is pretty good actually but you know what happens then is you also become like a broker of traffic all right and my honest opinion is that that shouldn't really be the way that you make money on the internet okay it could be one of those side things like if you do get good results from traffic authority let's just say and you really believe that their traffic is good for other people and for you then it could be like a side thing it could be another income stream but this should not be your main business okay because you should not be focusing on traffic and just selling you know, traffic to everybody because um, there, again, it's, it's not the best way to generate income. You know? Yes, it, it might be one of those additional income streams, um, but I would say that, that that shouldn't really be your core focus, okay? So again, what do I think of Traffic Authority? It's okay, it's a little bit interesting the way that they set up their model because you have to pay to buy their traffic, all right, which is a little bit strange in my opinion. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend third party, uh, what I call bought traffic, you know. I'm all about generating traffic. It's a lot, I, I've had tremendous results from generating traffic. First eight years of my career, I was doing stuff like this, didn't really make that much money. The last year and a half, learned how to generate my own traffic, became extremely profitable, um, you know, sold hundreds of products online, made tens of thousands of dollars in profit, 100% online. How was I actually able to do that? Well, listen, if you're just getting started and you're here and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I've got an opportunity, I need traffic, I need to marry them together, right? That's probably what you're thinking. Well, actually, it doesn't really just work like that, okay? Traffic and your opportunity is only one part of your business. There's a lot that goes on in the, in the middle that you're not really necessarily thinking about right now and that's the problem that I had, okay? It's all about understanding what traffic you're getting. How do you convert that traffic? How do you present to that traffic? How do you influence that traffic? How do you posture, posture yourself? How do you create power in your marketing? And it's all about understanding how to become a very powerful promoter and marketer so that you can go out there and pretty much promote anything you want, okay? It's not just about getting a network marketing opportunity or a biz op or an affiliate marketing product and then taking traffic like this and then just sending it directly to it. It doesn't work. You're not gonna make any money, okay? so. If you want to learn what I learned, what took me eight years to figure out, okay, all you need to do is click on the link right below this video. There's a little link right there. It's going to lead you to my website. Enter your best email address because I'm going to send you some information that's going to show you how I took eight years of failure and turned it into a year and a half, two years of tremendous success, okay? Um, and it's not by doing stuff like this, all right? It's really about learning your skills learning about how to become a powerful promoter, and then going out there once you're ready and promoting different things so that you can really convert those people into real customers, okay? So listen, I hope you enjoyed this review of Traffic Authority. All the best in your business. Good luck. I'll speak to you soon.